Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you the partial classes in C-Sharp. So, partial classes are not that commonly used, but you can encounter them while using generated code. So, let's see an example. I have here two folders, uh, generated and partial. And let's see what's inside the book.cs file. So I have pub public partial class book, which has a one string property name and a basic constructor. So, as you can see, this class is partial uh, because it has the partial keyword. And what it means is that s s another part of this class definition may be contained in another file. What's important is that both of these files have to have the same namespace. So, console app 26 that generated. So, I have the book.cs file inside of the partial folder um, which have which has the, the same namespace so console app 26 that generated and it also contains the public pressure class book uh, it contains the rest of the class definition which is a definition of a method co called display name which uses the console write line to display the name property of the of the class the name property is defined inside of the other file so at runtime, both of these files will be compiled into a single class. Let's see how it looks like um, when we run the program. So I'm instantiating a new uh, object called a book using the book constructor, so new book. And I'm passing in the Harry Potter string. Then I'm invoking the display name method. And I'm using the console read line to stop the console window from from exiting. Let's see how it works. And as you can see, the program runs correctly, displaying the name of the book Harry Potter. So, uh, what's the practical application of this concept? You may have some kind of code generator which is generating, for example, a single class like this book class. You may have a scenario where, where you want to um, add some definition to this class, extend it in some way, like for example adding a method. You wouldn't want to put this method definition inside of the automatically generated file because after the next file generation you, you, you would overwrite your changes inside of this file. So you have to keep this uh, additional fragments of code in a separate file. So this is basically the most common scenario of using partial classes, classes in C Sharp. In a very similar way you can use the partial methods. So here I have a definition or a declaration rather of a partial method display name which returns void. So it is public and uh, the implementation of this method will be contained in another file in the book.cs file so here I have the public partial void method display name which contains the the code associated with this method so it will work just the same there is some complex uh, rules associated with partial methods which uh, which require you to provide an implementation in some cases and in some don't. But uh, it is it, partial methods aren't commonly used, so if you need to um, broaden your knowledge about them, then just go to the official documentation and you will have all the rules um, listed so you can understand when you have to provide the implementation of partial method and when you don't have to. So I hope that uh, this quick introduction to partial classes, classes and methods was helpful to you and I hope to see you soon in the future videos.